My first experience with Haven was, gosh, I want to say almost 30 years ago. So when I was in ninth grade, a freshman in high school, I was molested by um, my friend's dad and went to my mom and she took me to Haven for support. And when um, I had to write a victim's statement, I was really impacted. I know some people would just say, well, what was the big deal? I felt like my peers were not very supportive because ultimately I was turning in my friend's dad, right? I remember in the impact statement I had said that I thought he should get sentenced to life because even though he didn't kill me physically, I had felt at the time that he had killed me emotionally. Unless you've gone through some sort of abuse, you really don't understand what it does to you mentally and emotionally. Abuse can happen to anybody. I believe that vulnerable people, um, people that think that it will never happen to them, that's who abusers look for. They scope them out. In my adulthood, I is when I got the physically abusive relationship. I had a guy that I call a shaken adult syndrome where he threw me down, picked me up, threw me down, so he ripped all my tissues from here all the way up. And so I couldn't move uh, for days and then I got pneumonia. When I was in an abusive relationship, there was no way I was gonna tell anybody. Um, well, first of all, I was ashamed and I was definitely afraid of the unknown. I had three children at home. I had no place to go place to hide and I had no options I had no choices so yeah it's just weak worthless unimportant yeah when you leave an abusive relationship you you leave with nothing um, you're lucky to get out with just yourself and the shirt on your back and your children um, Haven really gave me a safe environment to where after an abusive situation you you can grow from that you can get a place to live, you can get clothes on, you know, clothes, food, shelter. Having a place that you can go to without feeling judged is huge because a lot of people hesitate to get help in fear of being alone or people not being able to understand them. Everybody that I went through with Haven has the biggest heart you can just possibly imagine and it was their strength, their love that got me through because I didn't have any for myself at the time, but they showed me a better way. This is why Haven is so important, is to jump in and get those services. And everything that they offer, their residents that come in there is just remarkable. It's kind of an all-in-one, so it's a, it's a turnkey. So they get to get the mental health help that they need. They get the life skills training that they need to start rebuilding their life. The compassion is just, it, it is phenomenal. This group is seriously amazing. They're so empowering and helpful and just have the biggest hearts. So you can literally walk into this place damaged and broken and with nothing but the shirt on your back and you walk out with a whole, just a support system, like an army that is rooting for you and with the security that you have the life skills and the devices that you need to live a successful, safe life.